A few days ago, I posted this video about the Try Hack Me advent of cyber. In that video, I talked about how that challenge is very beginner focused and they kind of hold your hand through everything and kind of tell you all the steps you need in order to accomplish your goals. And at the end of that video, I also said that if you were a little bit more experienced and looking for more of a challenge, I might have another video about a different event that might be a little bit more your speed. And that event is the Sans Holiday Hack Challenge. This is another Christmas themed hacking challenge event that is done every year and is completely free to participate in. And this one is made by Sans. And if you don't know what Sans is, they're probably one of the biggest and most renowned education and certification programs out there. If you look on the resume of a lot of cybersecurity professionals, you'll probably see a bunch of certifications from SANS. I personally have two certifications from SANS and I've taken uh, um, the training courses that go along with those and they're just really good for those kind of training classes and getting those certifications for your resume. And every year they put out this holiday hack challenge that is completely free to participate in and it has a bunch of different challenges and it's very gamified and you kind of go through and try to figure out different kinds of techniques to solve the different challenges. And it is meant to be accessible for all skill levels. So if you are a beginner, don't feel intimidated by this one. They don't quite hold your hand as much and give you all the steps to get to the answer like Try Hack Me does for the advent of cyber. But they do have a lot of things built in to give you hints and kind of give you those breadcrumbs to get you where you need to go and kind of nudge you along the way to get towards the answer if you need them. And if you want to know more about the whole background of the Holiday Hack Challenge and the whole story that they're going with and all that, you can check out this video from Ed Scotus, who is one of the people that is in charge of Sans. In that video, he gives you a lot more details uh, about like what they went into building this year's challenge and all that. But kind of the most important part, I think, is that this year they're doing a pretty big focus on AI which shouldn't be surprising if you've been paying attention. Pretty much everyone in the entire tech world and the entire world in general is obsessed with AI right now. So they kind of made that a focus for this year's Holiday Hack Challenge. And right here you can see the different categories that are going to be in the challenges this year. AI-assisted cybersecurity, there's cloud security, there's web application security, threat hunting in Windows Cloud, there's lock picking, phishing analysis, Lots of different things. So if any of those things sound interesting to you, this might be a good challenge to check out. And they also have a YouTube channel called KringleCon where they will post a bunch of videos with different talks from different cybersecurity professionals. And these talks are a lot like the kind of things you would see at like a cybersecurity convention like DEF CON or Black Hat. It's kind of like a virtual convention. And a lot of these talks actually also give you sort of ideas and sort of point you in the right direction to solve a lot of the challenges as well. So all that was to kind of set up and explain what the Holiday Hack Challenge is. Now I'm going to show you how to actually get started on the Holiday Hack Challenge and how to create your account and all that. So first I'm going to click on the Play Now button, which is going to take me to 2023.holidayhackchallenge.com. And I'll have all these links in the description below if you want to check that out. And that brings me to this page right here. And if I click on this big button in the middle, now it takes me to this little blurb that kind of gives you a description of what the challenge is and what it's going to be about. And then it gives you an option to either register for the SANS Holiday Hack Challenge or sign into an account if you already have an account, maybe if you participated in the event in a previous year. But just to show you how it works, I'm going to register for a new account. And here is pretty much a standard fare for creating an account for anything. You put in an email address, create a username, and then create a password for that account. And once you create your account, you're going to end up on this little map with the little ship in the middle. And this is going to be your little ship that you're going to travel around to the different islands on the little game board that they have set up. So I'm gonna go over to the first island. I'm gonna click dock now. And now you see you have your little kind of grotesque monster little character here. And you can change how this little guy looks if you want. I realize my camera is blocking the top right corner, but there's a little menu up in the top right corner. And if you click on that, that'll bring up this little menu where you can change little details about what your character looks like. I'll be honest, they're all kind of monstrosities, <laughs> but you can change them however you want if you wanna make them look different. Or you can click randomize and just get a random weird combination. I then just go over to this elf to talk to and he'll give you your first little orientation of what's going on. And you just keep clicking on that elf to go through the little speech. Also fun fact, apparently they used AI to create all of the speech as well and also a lot of the art in the this little game too. 
So here we have this little starfish, and if we click on that, that tells us all our stuff that we need, like there's our story, there's our destinations, so there are the different islands that we'll visit during the whole challenge, and our objectives. Right now we're on Holiday Heck Orientation, which is what we're doing, and then we have our Snowball Fight, which is going to be our first actual challenge, and then Linux 101. So we'll get to those next, but first we have to finish Orientation. And now you see there's this Cranberry Pie terminal, which obviously is supposed to be similar to a Raspberry Pi, but this is going to be what a lot of the challenges are like. There will be these little terminals that you click on and that'll bring up something that we're gonna work with running some sort of like Linux commands or doing something. So it says, welcome to the first terminal challenge. This one is intentionally simple. All we need to do is click in the upper pane of this terminal, type answer and press enter. Okay, so our orientation is complete. Now we can go to the next island, and I believe next we're going to go talk to Santa. Now we're at Frosty's Beach, dock now. Now we can go talk to Santa. No ho -ho, not that I'll be honest, this voice does not sound what I would expect Santa to sound like. I feel like they could have done a little bit better job on the, the right AI voice prompt to get that to sound better. Okay, so after we go through all that dialogue with Santa, now it says, why not start off your vacation with a snowball fight with Marcel? So this is going to be the first actual challenge. If we go over, first there are all these little booths that are the different sponsors for this event. If I talk to this elf, Marcel Nougat. Hey there, I'm Marcel Nougat, elf extraordinaire. So here he says that you can tinker with client side variables or parameters to go solo mode. And there's also a way to make the elf snowballs do no damage and all kinds of other shenanigans. So with that information, we can click on the free snowball fight. So now we know that there's some way that we can manipulate this game and do something to make it behave the way it's not supposed to. And this is going to be our first drill challenge. I'm not going to solve this challenge in this video. I'm going to leave that up to you. I just wanted to kind of give a little walkthrough of how to get started in the challenge, get into the game, and sort of get you on your way. But if anyone is interested, I may end up making a walkthrough video going through all the challenges from the Holiday Hack Challenge after it's over and doing sort of a big big walkthrough video showing how to do everything. If that sounds interesting to you, post it in the comments, let me know, and maybe I'll do it. I also said I might do that same thing for the advent of cyber. So both of those things are potential things I could do after these challenges are over. But just let me know in the comments if that is a good idea that you don't want me to do, and I might do it. And just one more thing before I end this video, there are some prizes for this challenge. And in order to be entered to win some of those prizes, you actually have to do a write-up showing how you solve the challenges. And there's a link here to a Google form to submit a write-up, and it has to be submitted by January 5th. And because they are having such an emphasis on using AI this year, they have a requirement that they don't usually have where you have to use AI in some form to solve at least some of the challenges. And they list some of the different AI tools that you could use. So if you do end up doing a write-up, just make sure you have some sort of AI in your solutions in order to be entered for that prize. And the prizes available are one random draw gets a completely refurbished original Nintendo Game Boy with all the Holiday Hack 2023 Game Boy games loaded. So during the challenges, you will come across some uh, Game Boy games that are running on an emulator inside the challenge. And uh, you'll be doing some stuff manipulating those games in order to solve the challenges and one random winner will get an actual physical old school refurbished game boy with all of those games loaded onto it so that's pretty cool like if you're into vintage tech and gaming and stuff that i think that's pretty cool and then three random winners will be chosen that clicked on the five vendor booths so those that we passed on the beach earlier when we walked by after we talked to santa those booths if you click on all of those you get entered to win a holiday hack challenge t-shirt and then the best technical answer so of all the solutions that are submitted with their write-ups the one that is considered the best technical answer gets one subscription to NetWars Continuous for four months. And then the most creative answer that is also technically correct also gets one of those refurbished original Game Boys with all those games loaded on it that the random drawer that I talked about first gets. 
And then the best overall answer gets one grand prize, and that is one SANS online training course. So that's a very hefty prize, because SANS courses are not cheap. They are very expensive. Like I said at the beginning, I've taken two SANS courses and got certifications for both of those, but they were very expensive, and I did not pay for them. My employer at the time paid for both of those. If I had been paying for it myself, I would not have taken those classes. They're very expensive. So if you can get one for free, that's pretty good value. And also just one more quick note, you do not have to solve every single challenge in order to submit a write-up to be entered for any of these prizes. If you just do some of the challenges and want to do a write-up for those that you did complete, you will still be entered for those prizes. But that deadline is January 5th, and they also say that they do not want anyone to publicly publish any answers before then. So I will not be making any videos about solving the challenges before January 5th. But like I said earlier, if there is enough interest, I may end up doing like a full walkthrough video after it's over if people are interested in that sort of thing. But that's going to be about it for this video. If anyone watched the advent of cyber video and thought that looked way too easy and didn't want to waste time on this, maybe this one will be a little bit more challenging and more interesting to you. And hopefully in 2024, you'll be a little bit better hacker for it.